Adobe Illustrator Online 101, free Adobe Illustrator tool online. Adobe Illustrator Online, also known as Illustrator on the web, beta, offers a range of features for creating and editing vector graphics directly in your browser. Here's a breakdown of what you can expect, features asterisk, create and edit vector graphics anytime, anywhere. Shape tools to draw live shapes and intricate designs. Typography options with a variety of fonts for logos and banners. Colors and gradients to add depth and realistic effects. Collaboration with the invite to edit feature. Compatibility with Illustrator desktop app file sync to creative cloud. Cons asterisk, internet dependency asterisk requires a stable internet connection. Limited functionality asterisk some advanced tools from the desktop version may not be available. Security concerns asterisk storing files in the cloud can raise security issues. Cost asterisk while part of the Illustrator subscription, it may be expensive for some users. Known issues and fixes asterisk, crash issues on Mac OS and Windows have been reported with specific fixes suggested. Retype tool issues and workarounds for non-English locales. 3D effects limitations and requirements for GPU for real-time preview. Pro tips for getting started asterisk, familiarize yourself with the basic tools and shortcuts. Utilize the contextual taskbar for actions directly on the canvas. Start with built-in tutorials and tool guides within the app. Alternatives asterisk, vector asterisk good for quick vector designs and social media graphics. Inkscape asterisk a powerful, free illustrator alternative that can be used in browser through Roll app. Boxy SVG asterisk an SVG editor that works in Chromium based browsers and has a desktop version. Given your interest in 3D editing and rendering, while Illustrator on the web offers robust vector graphic capabilities, it may not fully replace dedicated 3D software like Blender. However, it's a valuable tool for vector artwork that complements 3D design workflows. If you're looking for more advanced 3D features, exploring alternatives like Blender for 3D tasks while using Illustrator for vector graphics might be a suitable approach.